all right so let's create the route for the diary okay so let's go to our app.js file and we're gonna create the route here let me add a comment saying route for diary page all right and in order to create the route we use the get method so app.get and the first parameter will be obviously the path of the route which is slash diary right so this is going to be the path of our route for diary page and the second parameter will be request and response and here I'm going to say res dot render diary obviously we haven't created the diary dot ejs file so we're going to create that in our let's say views I'm going to create diary dot ejs all right and I'm going to copy whatever this is here in our about page and just paste it here and remove this right here because we need to include the header navbar and the footer all right and if you save this and let's look if this works or not let's go to go to diary okay now this works so let's just create our HTML for this now I want to show all my you know whatever inputs that I've given whatever uh, records that I've stored I want to show it in this page all right but right now we don't have any records because we actually haven't added anything that's why this is empty right here and we also haven't created the code for that so what I'm going to do right now is just create an add button all right because I want the add button to be right here I'm going to create an add button which will actually lead me to the add page where I can create the record so here what I'm going to do is say div class add container and I'm going to say div and add a class of add all right then I'm going to add a p tag which says add to diary and finally an anchor tag that says add all right and inside the href we're gonna write slash add okay we haven't created the route for this again but we're gonna do it later on let's save this and if I go here okay so now my add button is right here again this is the pre-made CSS all right that I've added and by adding these classes I'm actually getting this style right here but basically this is a button which will take me to the add page and right now it cannot get the add page because we haven't created a route for it so let's do and create that as well so in our app.js we're going to create another route and here I'm going to say route for adding records alright and again for creating the route we use app dot get and now I'm gonna say slash add because that was a route okay if you see here it says slash add so here what I'm gonna do again is add a callback function and inside this parenthesis is gonna be request and response and it's always like that and in return I'm gonna send an EJS file or a page which is add all right we're gonna send this add page which I haven't created right here so I'm gonna create that I'm gonna say add dot EJS and again let's bring the header navbar and the footer for now so I'm gonna copy everything that's there in the about dot EJS file and paste it right here remove this and now let's save and see if this works or not if I refresh it and I'm getting add instead of the page I guess I 
yeah I said res dot send instead I should have done render okay now I guess this works there you go now here what I want to do is create the form all right and because here I will actually add the inputs and then save it in the database all right so I'm gonna create a form and that form will have three things one is the title the title of the record that I want to create and then the description because usually uh, whatever you want to say or whatever you want to record uh, you know it goes on and on it can be as long as a page so I'm gonna add a description for that and I'm also gonna add date because again date is important in a diary and then I'm gonna add a button and if you click that button all the data will be added to the database alright so I'm gonna do that so in our add.ejs let's create the HTML for that so I'm gonna say div the class of add to diary and I'm gonna add a header h1 which says add diary and I'm gonna create this green so I'm gonna add a span tag with a class of green text and all these classes again I have actually created in my CSS so I'm just adding here so now I'm gonna create a form so form and inside this form I'm gonna create a div with a class of form group all right now in, in bootstrap also you have a premium class called form group all right and then I'm gonna add a label and inside this label tag I'm gonna say title because that is the first uh, that will be the first input in our form all right and inside this for also let's add title and in the next one I'm gonna add input with the type of text and let's create a class and say form control I'm also going to create an ID and the ID should be as same as what is inside this for all right so let's set that to title and I'm also going to add name because name is very important whenever you're doing back-end programming all right because with the help of this name you will actually get whatever you have added in the input field in your backend so I'm gonna set the name to title all right and that's it I guess and if I save this right now and let's see what happens all right so we have the title bar here okay so now let's copy this up and I'm going to paste it here now in the next one it's going to be description and I'm going to change this to description right now description is going to be a long one so instead of this input I'm going to use text area right and for the name I'm going to go with description for the ID same thing let's save that and check out all right let's make this a little bit short right so for our rows I'm gonna add five okay and the third input that I want is a date so let me copy this right here and paste that here I'm gonna say date I'm gonna say date here as well now instead of this type equals to text I'm gonna say type equals to date all right let's change the ID and the name both to date all right let's save that and let's look how it looks okay there you go and finally I need a button so let me create now instead of using a button tag or an anchor tag I'm gonna use an input tag with the type of submit this will actually create a button and I'm gonna add a value of add add to 
diary, right? This is going to be the name of the button. So let's save that. Let's see. All right, so there you go. The button is there. And actually, this is it, guys. This is it for our form.